there, Inconvenient Panda here, and welcome back to Casual Craft Season 3. This will be Episode 5, and we're just going to continue where we left off yesterday. So, what I want to do is sort of finish building my first little house thing. And I found out that cold coke, one piece, will cook up half a stack of stuff, which is pretty awesome. But what I need is quite a bit many more basalt bricks. So I employed the use of my second furnace. What I need, uh, I want a few more basalt bricks. So I have a feeling I'm going to need a few stacks of the stuff. So, eh, just get, oh, you sneaky bastard. Come over here. Come over to where it doesn't matter. Come on, creepy. Come on, creeper. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 it's a creeper. Whoop. I'm in water. Actually, that'd be brilliant. Come on, creepy. Yeah. Creepy creeper. Gotcha. Oh, no gunpowder. I want to rip off. That I will need 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Se, uh, na, he, we, twa. Yay! Alright, that's enough. Hey, what the, what the piss? I don't remember doing this. Hmm. Oh well. If that's still there, I'll fix it later. Duh. Oh, some reeds grew. I want to get a bunch ton of reeds going. Is, uh, they always come in handy. It's nice to get them going early on. For various reasons. They grow a bit quicker on sand, but uh, I really don't I really don't need to worry about that just yet. Uh, later on when I build like a proper place for them there will be sand. But right now I don't need it. And why does that keep happening? It's, ah the villages and stuff keep falling off of here. And they land... Ah, uh, I see. So... I'll just forget that, I guess. I don't really care. That's a shame. Mm. What I need to do is build an iron golem or something. So I can keep away creepers and that. Uh, uh, get this. Get that. Get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 64, that should be enough. Just for now. So what I'm going to do is build the first of my many houses. My many buildings. As I make really weird noises into my microphone that I'm probably breathing into a lot. So as this is the Direwolf 20 mod pack, I have a feeling some of you might know the shape of this building. At least I hope so. But uh, I'm going to put my own little twist on it, of course. And what you saw just there was inventory tweaks. Because I used up the last of the block type I had, it automatically filled up my thing for me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. And we'll just square this off. Perfect. Mm, yes. Doesn't it look beautiful? Well, not quite yet. Got to build the rest of it. Whoa. Whoops, a doodles. I don't want that there. Actually, I want a door. I'll have it here. Why not? Just like that. And because this is the first building I'm going to build, I'm going to show all of it. But uh, in the future, I'll probably edit out any uh, buildings that I've made before. Uh, 
See, it just switched to regular basalt cobblestone there. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm going to need quite a bit of this stuff. But yes, it's going to be a 9x9. Nine nine, Diable 20 style. However, mine's made of basalt brick, where he usually goes for marble. I don't know. I'm a fanboy. What can I say? Yeah. I don't know. He puts up a video a day. I mean, it's pretty easy to keep up. There. See how this is doing? Hmm. Okay. Basalt. Yeah. Basalt the bricky. Doop. Doop. Alright. Ah. Hmm. I think. What can I do in the meantime? Hmm. Well, what I think I'll do is I'll just. Smelt the rest of this off camera. We'll be back. Alright. I think I've got enough to continue on a little bit. So let's do this. Dang it. I thought I could make that jump. Apparently I was wrong. Man, you move really slow in water. That's annoying. But hopefully, in a minute or two, we'll be living over here. Yes. Yeah, I need a way to get up. I don't really know how high to make it, if I'm honest. I think this will be high enough. What do you reckon? Hmm, no, one higher. Yeah, like that. That'll be good. Yeah. Was this even going to be enough? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Boop. And do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I want to have a little space. And while I'm up here. Torch the f out of it. Yeah. Bit of lag. That was weird. Nearly done. Just a few more bricks. Yeah. Oh, I. Wow. Three off. Actually, two of the design I wanted. Yes, the floor is grass. But I have. I have something else I want to put in for the floors. But, uh, that's a, that's a surprise. Yeah, for later. Err. We'll go and get some more bricks. And then, we could probably move over there. Which will be key. Be so key. Yeah. Time to finish. Oh, that's one other thing I want. Before I forget. Uh, uh, I need to go get some sand. We will make a something. What do I want? I don't know what I want. What do I want? I want a shovel. I don't know what to make it out of. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, screw it. Making it a steel. Might as well. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And. Alright. Put you in there, put you in there, put you in there, put you in there. Ah, time to get some more sand. I need a lot of sand for my thing is that I'm building. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Probably didn't really want to do that. I'm trying not to destroy the landscape entirely. 
mean, I don't mind if it looks a little odd, but if it looks really strange, then I, then I will care a bit. I just want about half a stack, I reckon. I'll just use a single coal coke. How much have I got? Oh, perfect. Man, I'm good. I'm the best ever. Yeah, the best. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Went a little weird there for a second. Oh, just a second. <laughs> Right iron in there. Oh, I've got a steel shovel now. I will use that quite a bit. Wow, 500 uses. That's... That's good. That's good. Uh, the. <clears throat> I wanted glass. As that shall be the roof of this place. And it shall be glorious. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. Well, that'll be enough, I think. Wait, no. What would it be? It'll be... How much? Yeah, ten is nowhere near enough. I need like 36. Three, four, five. Oh no, I need 25. My bad. Ah, damn it, I didn't bring the silly bricks. Wow, glass looks awesome in this texture pack. That was cool, I liked it. I just wish Optifine wasn't being such a tool with my basalt brick. Let's see around the edges. I don't know, I think it looks pretty beast. I don't know, if there's ever an update of Optifine, I'll grab it. See if it fixes it. Because I've sort of gone a bit silly with my Optifine settings. I've got like anti aliasing and anxiotropic filtering, or however you pronounce that friggin' word. And uh, yeah, I've gone all out. I've gone all out. Whoa. Ow, my legs. I need to get food. Which. Will probably be a constant struggle in this series. Trying to keep fed. Yeah. But then, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Yeah. I need two. Okay, so I need ten more. Wait, eight more. Wait. I counted right. Eight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, I need food. Are my carrots grown? I hope they are. Oh, looks like some of them are. Yeah, buddy. It's really awesome in this texture, but you can actually tell when the carrots are done. The potatoes, not so much. I don't know, is that done? No. That's what I mean. I don't... Maybe it was done, I only got one back. Yeah, that is done. You can sort of see them popping out of the ground. Which, you know, that's how real potatoes are. Mmm. I'm only getting one back. That's stupid. Alright, that'll do. Uh, when the carrots? Yeah. Carrots. Ergo sauce food. Yee. Just like that. And we plant them back. Awesome. The potatoes are. Eh, yeah, probably like that. Yeah, because I'm going to be sprinting everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking at? You're the shears guy. Go to hell. You and your useless crap. I think, uh, I think that's enough of this stuff. Now, what I do want to do is take a chest over there. So, that potatoes. I guess you guys can go here. Just f f 
for now. I don't, I don't care. Is he the right one? Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Done. Basalt's done. Good. So now I can take a furnace. And glass is nearly done. I don't care. Yeah. So, uh, I think I'll completely abandon that place, actually. Nice to have in the background, but I really don't care for it. Whoa. Uber lag. What the hat? Yeah. All right. And ceiling done! Yay! And boop. Doop. Pudoop. Pudoop. What's seven times seven? I don't know, 49? Is it? What's uh, seven times six? That's, I don't know. I can't be bothered using my brain. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't have enough to make a floor, but I want the floor to be out of something else, so whatever. It'll be grass for now. But yeah, check, 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 check it out. <laughs> I'll uh, put a chest here, and uh, I'll just have a temporary furnace here. But what I will do is I want to expand and build more of these structures at some point. So, just like this, pretty much. Yeah. I'm uh, going to be copying Direwolf a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I'll, I will eventually sort of make my own thing happen. But yeah, this is more just uh, so I remember that I want to build off this way. Dang it. Oh, I guess I could have done any of that. Actually. I will. I will do it out of that. Yes. But I'm going to stick another one of these on that side. But then at the back, that's where I'm going to have my own sort of building. It's going to be like a... That's going to be where the quote-unquote factory will be. And that, I don't know what shape that room's going to be yet. Uh, or even what it's going to be built out of. Hmm. I don't know. But this way will be like a storage room thing. And then here's where I'm going to have my bed. And uh, a couple of other things. And out the back, I'm going to have all my uh, factory sort of stuff. So, it's, it's looking pretty swell. Yeah, I've got it all planned out. Sort of. But not really. Now that's done, I can get to moving all this stuff about. Yeah. Which would be good. We got we got glass. Alright. Grab you. Grab all you. Grab you. Grab you. Wait. Yep. Okay. Wait. No, this one. I'll do this one first. Already forgot I didn't have a pressure plate there. Silly me! Yeah! Jump! Skilled it. Hells yeah. And this is gonna be my temporary chest. Uh, what do I want? I want a project table. Uh, so, bed, bed, is. Project table can go here. Why not? So what I want to make is... A door. And zombies will be able to break it down, but whatever. It makes me feel better about myself. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, now my poor should play. Yeah. Oh, that is good. That is just, like, the best thing ever. I'll tell that uh, stuff. Uh, 
Alright. So yeah, this is looking pretty nice. So what I think I'll do for now is just sort of have my factory more or less open air. And uh, sort of build the stuff around it later. Like build the... I'll just make an outline of the building and put down the machines I want. And then build later around it, around the shape. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, so I've thought about what I want to do a little bit. And... Uh, what I want, what I need first will be... Uh, what was it? Pulverizer. Yeah, so I want to make one of these before, but I will need this first, which requires copper, flint, piston, and a machine frame, which machine frames are pretty easy to make. Don't require too much. And a redstone reception coil, which, again, yeah, it's not ludicrously expensive of a thing, but what it does is pretty awesome. Uh, I've explained it in a previous episode, but once I have the thing built, I'll show you what it does. So that's what I'm going to be working on now. So for that, I will need one of my pistons. I will need some de glass. Need some dirt. Need some dirt. Need some dirt. Eh. Uh, need some dirt. And uh, oh, flint. Oh, I can get that later. But the uh, machine frame will be the first thing I build. So it's sort of the easiest to remember, I believe. And then redstone reception coil, as such. So now we've got that. So that goes there, that goes there. Piston go there. Copper, copper. Now I just need some flint. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I want to move... Uh, another chest over. Oh, do I? Do I? Hmm. Not just yet. I want to build the storage room first. That's gonna that's gonna take a little while. To sort of get ready. To yeah, Flint. Yeah. I want the other thing I want. I'm gonna want a powered furnace. I believe it's called. Yep. And uh, that requires bricks. Copper is... Okay. So it's essentially the same recipe, but bricks instead of flint. So, yeah. Yeah. Because it seems a bit scary looking at all what all these mods can do, but once you get into it, sort of learn the basics, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. Like, when I first started playing around with Buildcraft, I had no idea what was happening. It was just too overwhelming. Too much information all at once. But now it's like... I think I can figure most stuff out for myself. Machine frame. Uh, don't really want a second one yet. I want that, definitely. Machine frame. To copper. To brick. Where my piston? I had one. It was there. Yeah, piston. Wait, what? It's just a piece of redstone. Okay. Uh, okay. A bit odd. <clears throat> but for these things to work, I need to have power running to them. And for power, I will need... Well, first I need to make some pipes. These are transport pipes. Talk about them a bit later. But if you add redstone to them... You can get conductive pipes, which conduct power. I'm just going to get two for starters, because that's really all I need at the moment. Because I've only got two machines. And I want to sort of know where my wall will be. No. Uh, I think I'll build it, like, out. Mm. Yeah, well, this wall will just sort of... Yeah, okay. I was 
thinking out loud a little bit. So that, that technically doesn't exist like that, does it? Nope. That's how it looks. And then like, the wall will be here. Alright. So, what we'll do is, I don't really like having stuff in the exact corners. So I'm not going to be, there's going to be a little gap there. But what I want to do is lay down my pipage, like show, which is pretty cute, and uh, we'll stick, actually we'll put this over one, so what I want there will be a chest, which I will explain in a bit. We want to put down the powered furnace, wrong way around, fool, please Oh, that's going to destroy it, isn't it? No! Oh. Dang it. Okay. I'll talk about this in a bit. But, um... I made a boo-boo. If I were to break this... As it is, with a pickaxe, it wouldn't give it back, I don't believe. I don't think it gives it back. So what I need is... An item called something hammer crescent hammer which is crafted with silver apparently which I don't know if I have any <sighs> dang it steel hmm. I'm sure I had silver yeah that's the way you pick those machines up with the crescent hammer. At least I think it's... I hope it's the crescent hammer. It better be. If it isn't, I'm going to be upset. And I'm going to be all like... Eh, hey, I thought it was. Oh, silver, silver. Okay. Hey. One bit of... Co. Uh, uh. My legs! My legs! Yeah. Making our way back to the workshop. Yeah. Silver in. Coal in. Perfect. So, uh, what I might do while well, that's cooking up is sort of light up the area a bit better. So, I really don't want mobs sort of spawning everywhere. Everywhere. I'll grab this. And dish. Ooh. Zycraft crystal. Those things are awesome. Looking. Ha ha ha. They don't do anything yet still, so I'm just going to leave it there. I'll stumble across it again. Don't worry about it. Alright. Got a bit of silver we needed. That there. That there. No, not like that. Crescent hammer. Even though it's a wrench. But anyway. Oh, I get it. Crescent. Oh, okay. That's funny. But, uh, shift right click. And you'll pick your stuff back up. Which is handy. Because now I can put it where I wanted it. It's right there. I'm going to put a chest. And you'll see why shortly. I'll put it in there like that. And then we'll put the pool for us at here. Like that. Now, these interfaces look a bit scary at first, but once you use them for yourself, you'll be like, wow, that was, that was easy. I have, um... In the config file, I turned the colorblind mode on. Because I'm colorblind. But... Here's a basic way to look at it. You can click on these bits here to sort of... I'll turn them all off, make it sort of easier to understand. Hello cow. Alright. Uh, these little bits here are the different sides of the machine. As Then that's the front there. You can't change the front, so... It's a... Uh, yeah. But I have 
made the left side blue. So we look at the left side, and it is indeed blue. If I can also make the top blue. It's now blue. I turned off the left side. It's no longer blue. Now what blue is, is the input to the machine. So I would... So what that means is... If I had some pipes running and some items were getting fed into the machine to this top side, they would go into the blue slot. If I put the blue slot here, it means I would have to pipe them into this side for it to go into the blue. Now, here's where it gets interesting. is when you pulverize stuff, you pulverize your ores and you'll get two dusts. There are two slots here, because if you have a stack of 64 ore, it'll make two stacks of 64 dust, because it doubles them. And uh, I'll go sleep, and I'll be back. Right, I'm back. So yes, um, when you pulverize an ore, you will get these dust things. But you will also, depending on the ore, get uh, a secondary chance I think it's uh, if we go in the recipe you'll see we if we pulverize cobblestone it will give us sand 100% of the time but 10% of the time it could also give us gravel and as you can see there is a lot of stuff that you can get like uh, netherrack will give you sulfur which is used for other stuff obsidian will give you pulverized obsidian and th there's a lot and I will be using Almost all of it. So, see here, if I pulverize tin, I get two pulverized tin, and a 5% chance for iron, which is awesome. And that's this slot down here. This slot here is what it will give me. But what I can do with these awesome nifty machines is if I set this up, like this is virtually the same, except it's just a furnace. It's just powered. It doesn't do anything special like this one here. But if I set up this output to go out the right hand side, the left hand side is accepting things into its input. So when this gets pulverized, it'll automatically get spat out into the furnace and cooked up straight away. No need to fiddle around with any pipes or any other real machines, which is so very cool. But, uh, you know, all that good stuff but as you can see all the different slots are color coded the main output is r red which I've set there uh, what I could also do is uh, the third output is this bottom one so now whatever is here will be put there but I don't want that I want that one and what I'm doing is left click will go up right click will go down pretty simple but this one here the four dots or the orange color is just both of these can be sent to the one can both be sent to here which I don't really want if I'm honest what I will do is that there is the back side so I'll stick a little chest here it's sort of hidden out of the way so I don't really care Oh, I don't have any wood. I'll do that later. And now I know what you're thinking. Uh, how do I power such a thing? Well, <laughs> ah. um, there's many ways. And one of the least efficient will be a Sterling engine, which is exactly what I'm going to use. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to think about how I want to organize this a bit between episodes, because this one's gone over a little bit. But yeah, I might have over-explained this a bit. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. If you don't know about these mods, it's good if I over-explain. But if you know about them, then you're probably a bit annoyed with me. And don't worry, pretty soon we'll be getting into some really cool contraptions. I'm still trying to set up. Uh, I might more heavily edit my episodes after this one. Because that could have been summed up. Like, this episode probably could have been done in about 10 minutes, I reckon. So I might do that from now on. Maybe. I don't know. I sort of like leaving everything in. Just so you don't, guys don't miss much. 
Anyway, I have been and still am the Inconvenient Panda. Thanks for watching. Join me tomorrow. Uh...